But find uh, two minutes in there for Vietnam. You know, the problem is what to say about it. All right, I'll tell you what I would say about it. I would say that we have a commitment to Vietnamese freedom. Now, we, uh, we could pull out of there. The dominoes would fall, and that part of the world would go to the communists. We could send our Marines in there. And we could get tied down in the Third World War or another Korean action. The other alternative is to advise them and hope that they stand up and fight. Now, we think that by training them and advising them, that uh, uh, by training them in a the period of three years, we can have them trained. And we've removed some there who... Uh, we're guarding the establishments that didn't need to be guarded anymore. We're absolutely no, no need. We put in 10,000 more if they could be useful and could, if we needed them for the training. But uh, this thousand we didn't need because they were guarding whatever they're guarding. And that's why we pulled them out. Now we estimate that with the 15,000 we've got left, that all the rest of this year, and uh, large part of next year that we can just train anybody in that period of time. And for that reason, we said that uh, we can reduce that number after they're trained. Now, this nation has made no commitment to go in there to, uh, to fight as yet. We're in there to train them and advise them. And so that's what we're doing. Nobody really understands what it is out there. They don't know, and they get to where they're confused. They ask you questions, and they're saying, why, why don't we do more? Well, I think this. Uh, you, you can have more war, or you can have more peace. But we don't want more of either. And it's their war, it's their man, and we're willing to train them. And we have found that over a period of time, and, uh, uh, we kept the communists from spreading. We did it in Greece and Turkey with the Truman Doctrine by sending them in. We did it in Western Europe by NATO. We've done it there by advice. We haven't done it by going out and dropping bombs. We haven't done it by going out and sending men to fight. And we not have we have no such commitment there. But we do have a commitment to help the Vietnamese defend themselves. And uh, we we're, were there for training. That's what we had done. They say the war is not going good. Well, they, there are days when we win. There are days when we lose. But our purpose is to train these people, and our training is going good, and we're trying to train them. All right, sir, I'll, I'll get that. I don't know uh, if I've said anything there that I shouldn't say. Yeah, I would no, say I it, but that's, uh, I, I, that's the way you said it to me, and it appealed to me when I say, why in the hell? I always thought it was foolish for you to make any statements about withdrawing. I thought it was bad psychologically. But you and the president thought otherwise, and I just sat silent. Now, you made them. And, uh, when, yeah, and I asked you the explanation. You give me a good explanation. and not a damn bit of use having a thousand people sitting around to guard something that they don't need to guard. No question about that, Mr. President. The problem is... Really All right, then the question, the next question comes is, how in the hell does McNamara think when he's losing the war, he can pull men out of it? Well, he, McNamara's not fighting the war. He's training them to fight a war, and when he gets them through high school, they will have graduated from high school and have 12 grades behind them next year. And he, he hasn't taken on any agreement to keep them the rest of their life. He just because he's made a commitment to train them to fight. And if he trains them to fight and they won't fight, he can't do anything about it. Then he's got to choose whether he wants to fight or let them have it. This is a problem, exactly. And what I fear is that we're right at that point.